on the tracks now. Yeah. So 204 is um, a two bedroom, so just dash one and dash two. Mm -hmm. And, and dash one. we can only get into dash one, which is fine, because that is the suite and arguably the most important part. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll take my shoes off. The owners really went above and beyond on this when they redid it. Like you can tell just some of the little accents here. Um, really unique granite on all the con on the, all the countertops. Oh, got it. So there's definitely some room um, for you to put your own tastes into the remodel. You have to work with the you design know what? team. Compared to a lot of other hotels, you have a lot of room. Oops. So here is the Murphy for this room. Vaulted ceilings again, which really makes a difference. And this is more of a courtyard view as well. Right? What's that? Oh no, I'm sorry. So this one faces out to the village. This is a village view. Mm -hmm. And you're looking out across the pool. Uh, and then... But you could get some chairlift views. So there's the Steins Pool. Just beyond that is the backside of Goldner Hirsch. If we look that way a little bit, you can see Chateau. And the lot, that direction, where the additional buildings of um, the Chateau expansion are going to be. And um, up there, that's Bald Eagle. And so you can see the chairlifts from there. We are out on the uh, deck. And there's that pool view again. And here's your hot tub. And short of getting in the hot tub, I can't quite show you, but right there, that's the edge of Bald Eagle. And there are the chairs. So, having seen what we've seen of the other Steins units, you can really see where the owner has made some personal choices. The hardwood floor makes a big difference in the warmth of the unit. Um, oh look, another gas range. It is very bright outside today, but I'll try and focus this for you so you can see. ceilings, living area, kitchen, living area, views from the living area. And the seller's closet is not, it's on the outside, I don't know if you saw that big oh, okay. piece of furniture. So in a lot of the rooms, that is the owner closet, and here that's just like drawers. more storage. Just nice for whoever's staying in the... Yeah, which really makes this an easier place to sleep. Mm -hmm. Along with the full bath, of course. Mm -hmm. And then this bedroom. Here's its master bath. And the reason that they have you consult with the design team um, for any personal choices is they just want to be sure that the unit is not so unique that it can't be rented, you know, or that it becomes one of those like kind of stigmatized rooms that people trade out of as soon as they get checked into. So this one is more unique, but it's certainly not in a bad way. It's just more memorable. Big vaulted ceilings again. fireplace, gas fireplace here. 
and then the bedroom access to the hot tub. And there's those views again. Living space. And then there is the main door. So here in the entry foyer, 2041, 204-2, um, this is the owner lockout closet. That in in addition to the ski locker that you have, store your skis in the ski locker down in the ski valley. Okay, so in addition to that. So you just keep your personal items. Yeah. Is here. 